ever received was actually from Mass Bike. It was a little strange when I got the call. Someone said, you won the Influence Peddler Award. And it was a little bit of a strange name. Um, and it's a, a bicycle gear uh, and the beginning of part of a pedal uh, inserted in wood from Mass Bike. And uh, I do sincerely, I'm very proud of it. I do sincerely have that right next to my desk. And um, uh, it speaks volumes about the fact that um, Mass Bike has really uh, been a, uh, a real advocate, but also a great resource for me over these past uh, several years uh, to figure out what, with our limited resources, we should be doing to have the biggest impact to not only accommodate bicyclists who want to use the key and thereby boost our ridership, uh, but also make a difference uh, in the safety, security, accessibility, and, and the uh, linkage uh, for all modes. So uh, please um, uh, join me in uh, welcoming uh, David Watson on behalf of the great organization, Mass Bike. In early spring this year, a number of us in the advocacy community uh, met with General Manager Hrabowskis and his senior staff, and we were talking about a number of things that might help the T increase access for bicyclists and increase the number of people who are taking advantage of multimodal community and improving people's health and reducing congestion. One of the suggestions was building some bike cages, and uh, General Manager Grabowskis was immediately taken with that idea, and just a few weeks later in May, as he mentioned, we were here announcing that there would be bike cages at Alewife. And here we are, not even in fall yet, and, and we've got two beautiful bike cages here. So I would just like to say thank you to General Manager Grabowskis and his team for having the vision to build these cages and, and for moving so incredibly quickly. Now, we've seen a huge increase in the number of cyclists on the road and trying to use transit this year uh, as gas prices have risen. And it is just amazing to have a transit organization that, that sees that and is responsive to it and moves so quickly. Being able to have a safe and convenient place to park your bike is critically important to encouraging people who live a little bit too far from the station to walk here to get here under their own power. So this will dramatically increase the ability of bicyclists to access the transit system for Mount White. It will help people stay healthier. It will reduce the number of cars that are, are coming here to L. White. And we, we look forward to this being a huge success. We're going to see these bike cages filled with bikes very quickly. And I fear we're then going to see bikes again locked to every immovable object because I'm sure demand will outstrip supply. But then we hope to work with the T to roll this program out to other stations throughout the system and, and keep encouraging more people to get out of their cars and use public transit. Thanks very much. And, that's a, and David's point is an excellent one. One of the things we're also uh, talking about today with this pilot is inviting feedback. And we'd love to hear from our customers who will actually be using uh, the, uh, the bike cages here at Airway. Tell us what you uh, think about them. Do you like them? What do you like and maybe don't like? And um, my suspicion is it's going to be very popular. And we just want to make sure when we roll them out that we do what our customers are looking for. Um, another great partner with the MBTA is Livable Streets. And Larry Slotnick has been...